Well, I've always been interested in insects my whole life, and I've also always loved to create things and make things and draw. And it all kind of came together when I was in college getting my degree in zoology, and I was so inspired by all these things that I was learning about. So I started drawing them, started making little stuffed animals for my friends, and realized I could make a business out of it, because people, all my friends who were studying this with me, wanted some. So I've had my Etsy shop for about five years, and now I'm working on my PhD in entomology, and still drawing and still sewing. One of the reasons I got into this was, part it was the inspiration of all these amazing animals out there that you don't normally see unless you really look for them or see them under a microscope. And I realized also that any representations you'd see in like a gift shop or in artwork, they're usually wrong. They usually have the wrong number of legs or the wrong coloration or body parts stuck where they shouldn't be. And I really wanted to provide toys and artwork for people who are kind of sticklers for correct anatomy like I am when it comes to the number of legs on a centipede, uh, on Cedric, for example. Wrong colors, but he's got everything in the right spot. Part of what really keeps me going is knowing that there's so many people out there who want a cuddly representation of their favorite animal that they're studying, whether it's a centipede or a giant water bug or a praying mantis or extinct creatures like a trilobite or an Anomalocaris, that I can do that for people. And that really satisfies me and keeps me going. I would like to just keep doing what I'm doing. I like to do things myself with my own two hands. I can't see myself ever selling patterns or going to a big company and having my designs made. I really like to have that connection with people uh, to keep drawing and to keep being inspired. So I sell on Etsy, and my Etsy name is Weird Bug Lady. Uh, you can also go to weirdbuglady.com. Uh, I also have a blog where I talk about my research and some of my sewing, which is caterpillarblog.com. And you can also find me on Facebook, Flickr, DeviantArt. Just look for the Weird Bug Lady, and that will be me. My name is Bridget Zakarchenko, also known as the Weird Bug Lady, and I am a raw artist.